Hello everybody, today I want to show you a little tool I made called Texture Cauldron. It's a tool to generate all kinds of tileable textures and noise-like structures. For example, we can see that this node generates some kind of Brownian noise, whatever that means. And if you click on it, you can see that all kinds of options pop up to... Uh, you can change the contrast and brightness and how much it's warped and whatever all these settings are. If you don't want to fiddle with them, you can just hit the randomize button and you see it will generate all kinds of nice textures. But that's not all. You can also change the complete structure of how the textures are generated. For example, by clicking on the canvas with right click and creating a Vorono noise. So if you click on this, it has different options like how many cells are generated how round they are generated, how big the edges are, and that kind of stuff. And we can also randomize it if we want to. But the interesting part is if we create more than just two nodes and mix them together. We can, for example, use this node and plug it in here, and use this node, plug it in here, and also use some color and plug it in here. And then it will mix them together. And we can then put this into the output node. Maybe we want another color here, just black. And it will already look like some kind of wall structure. Let's make some cooler walls. Maybe we want more cells in this direction. And also, they shouldn't be that random. Maybe we want another texture for the brick tiles. Yeah, they look nice. Maybe a little bit brighter. And maybe a little bit rounder. Makes them a little different. Yeah, that already looks kind of nice. Maybe they are too equal. So what we can do is we can use also a warp node and change this texture by warping it with another texture, like this. And then we can plug it in here. Maybe this is a little bit much, so let's tone it down a little bit. And maybe use a little bit of a different structure here. We don't want any warping here. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, that looks already kind of decent. And if we like the texture the way it is, we can click on the file output node and save it to a PNG file, like this. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for listening and goodbye.